A modern development in an historic Georgetown neighborhood is at the center of debate. Action at a meeting tonight could move the project forward, but KXAN's Will Dupree found out today neighbors plan to show up with their concerns. A year ago, the white picket fence and inviting porch looked picture perfect to Anthony Fusco. We wanted to buy an older house in a historic neighborhood somewhere with some beauty and some charm. A different concept, though, has emerged right across the street. A small sign there represents a developer's big vision. The plans call for this backyard to become a modern condo complex that looks like this. The proposed Maple Street condominiums will have just eight units and stand 30 feet tall. Fusco and his neighbors floated a bundle of balloons that high recently to highlight the impact. No one I've talked to has been in favor of it as it currently stands. Neighbors are appealing to the city's Historic and Architectural Review Commission, or HARC. The developer needs a certificate of appropriateness from HARC before it can proceed with building in the historic district. That particular power, however, may not remain with HARC because the process is currently under review by the city. Fusco and other neighbors are counting on HARC to take their side. We felt like HARC would protect us from some of these things, some of these developments, and maybe we were wrong. I don't know. If the company receives the certificate, the condo developer will still have several other hurdles to clear with neighbors watching every step. Will Dupree, KXAN News. After receiving a certificate of appropriateness, the company would then have to submit a site development plan. Then if that's approved, the developer would only have building permits left to start construction. City of Austin has a similar commission. The Historic Landmark Commission oversees historic districts and sets guidelines to maintain the integrity of historic neighborhoods. Right now there are six historic districts in Austin. Take a look at this map of them. The most recent one designated Smoot Terrace Park was approved by City Council in August. The district is between West 6th and 9th Streets along Highland and Oakland Avenues and uh, Pressler Street. Historic district status doesn't mean that buildings can't be torn down or new ones built. It just means that changes have to meet each district's own unique set of standards decided on by the commission. Historic districts also get property tax breaks to help conserve and maintain buildings.